Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will explain in simple terms how malware works. Let's start with understanding what malware is all about. Malicious software is software code written with unethical intentions. It is designed to cause damage to a computer or a network without the user's knowledge. Malware is written for a variety of reasons. It is used to steal confidential and sensitive information from the infected target. It is used as a tool to commit financial fraud to steal banking information and money. Malware has long been used for spying and espionage purposes to gather intelligence about unsuspecting targets. So how exactly does malware work? Let's talk about its life cycle in phases. The goal of the first phase is to gain entry into the target system or network. This is typically done by exploiting a vulnerability or by deliberately using social engineering tactics to deploy the malicious software program. Once the malware has gained entry, in the next phase, the malicious code begins executing. This is when activities like stealing data, backdoor setup, deletion of important files, etc. take place. Typically, a user is unaware about the presence of malware on their machine. Some malware programs are designed to have continued access to the infected system or network. This is referred to as persistence. These programs must remain undetected by the user or network defender throughout its life cycle. Sophisticated malware employ techniques to evade antivirus software and other security tools in order to remain hidden and carry out further activities. Some programs attempt to escalate privileges and gain administrator-level access on the infected machine. This is done by creating and modifying existing user accounts or by modifying system processes. On networks, one infected machine can infect some or all machines on the same network. I hope you have a good idea now about how malware works. There are different types of malware like viruses, worms, adware, rootkits, ransomware, etc. Each type has its unique style of carrying out malicious activity, but its behavior progresses according to the three phases we just discussed. When you have a malware sample and you wish to understand how it executes and if it uses any persistence techniques, it can be done by reverse engineering the sample. Are you excited to know more about reversing malware? Stay tuned to our channel. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!